Hello everybody, welcome back uh, in this session. The objective of this session was uh, to create a background job uh, for automatic TO creation in the warehouse 089. So we have already seen the uh, step number one that is create a variant for the program. So here we have created the variant RLA UTA 10 underscore new which you have seen already in the part one now in the part two we'll be seeing how to create or define the background job so now to define or create or define the background job we would be going to the transaction code sm36 however prior to that i would like to see once the variant that we have created so if i you can see here this is a program that we have created now with variant now here, if you click on the variant, you can see here, this is the variant that we have created, RLAUTA10 underscore new. So the moment I click on this and I say, okay, you can see here, variant RLAUTA10 underscore new intended only for background processing. This is reason, this is because we have created this background job while creating in the attributes we have selected only for background processing if you do not select that then you can select you can run this in the foreground as well but we did not want to have this for the foreground that is why we have selected that option now so you can see that our variant is created now let's go to sm36 this is the transaction code to create a background job now you can see here it is it says defined background job so i would say job name is auto to creation create to underscore 089 underscore auto automatically create now here you can see that the status of this background job right now is scheduled right now I'm going to click on the steps here you can see here what and all steps you would like this background job and what sequence you would like those you will be adding here now I'm going to run this program the variant I'm gonna pick up my variant was RLAUTA10 underscore new so I have picked up my variant and I would say check and then I would say save so you can see that it has picked up RLA UTA 10. This is my program with the parameter here. Now in the parameters it has picked up the variant name. So I'm going back and then um, here you can see one step is successfully defined. And then I'm now clicking on the start conditions. Now this is where you would be checking out that what should be the frequency now what you should be doing is you should be clicking on immediate that means you will be doing the frequency right now now the moment when you click on immediate you can see here there's something like a periodic job which has come up click on periodic job and then click on the period values now here you can find out whether it is hourly daily weekly monthly other period so i would say hourly if in case you would like to say no it should not be hourly but it should be every 15 minutes or every 10 minutes or every 5 minutes rather so I would click on other period and then here it will again give you in minutes hours so I would say every 10 minutes check and then save and then check and then save so that means you can see that this periodic job we have set for every 10 minutes now if in case you want it to be specified within from a date and time you can do that that when it should start or it should not start before what time now if in case this background job is also followed by a to confirmation or say for example all these to's whatever is created it should be club or there has to be some other work that should be done you can always assign after job to this if in case you want only this program to run from Monday to Friday or only three days in a week or only five days in a week then you can always click on this and you can see here there's something like a factory calendar 
here you need to assign a factory calendar in that factory calendar you will be uh, checking on that what and all days are off when you should not run what and all days it should not work like for example saturday sunday it should not work it should work only from monday to friday so all those things you can define in that factory calendar you can create a factory calendar and you can assign to this background job so i'm going to click on i'm going to go back and then i'm going to say the period i have already sent so check and oh okay we'll be starting the schedule starts yeah 27 and i will be picking up the time as okay and then check it's okay okay so we'll pick it up as 10 and here let's say okay oh it's already 12 o'clock here sorry so it should be 2 30 why is it picking up 27 today is 28 okay let's say 28 and then save so here you can see the job frequency is 10 minutes the planned start date is 28th of September 29 to 229 now you have to see now the moment I will be saving this it has to be released so you can see that job created job create t underscore zero eight underscore auto saved with status released so job is released now automatically it will start on 28th so we have taken this plan date on 28th but we wanted to test this so i'm taking this off and i'm just saying check and then i will go to period values i would say immediate i would say period values i would say other period and i would say 10 minutes check save then check save so here it says immediate start 10 minutes so i have not got any of the plan schedule reason being we wanted to test this right now and i'm saving it so you can see here it is already released job is released so now uh, this job is released and we can test this so this is how you would be creating a job so now let's go to sm37 and see if in case there is any of the program now here you can see this is the create auto to it is first is released and then it is finished you can see here now the moment i click on this and i go to job log it immediately will say job started TO pressing TR total is 0, TO created is 0, errors is 0. That means there is no TO or no TR which is created. Right? Now, in the next part, the last part of this background job, we will be seeing that if in case we have TO, how this background job would be running and at the end of the day, how that will be automatically converted into a TO. How the TO would be created. So now in the background job, the job log, we'll also see that what all TOs are created, the uh, data would be seen. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please do, uh, please do like my videos and please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.